What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming, where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another The City of Final Fantasy Opera Amia video. And welcome back to another Should You Pull video, where I give you my opinions for upcoming banners coming to the global version of the game. In today's video, we are going to take a look at Camelonaut's Lost Chapter banner. Now before we start, like and subscribe if you haven't already because it does help this channel and I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give me. Now without further ado, let's start this video. Alright guys, so we'll start this off with Camelot's rework. So first off is his Adol will now have 3 turns instead of 1 and his Frostblade will have an increase in its Brave Hits to 4 as well as increasing its potency. Now the... I guess the super variant of this is the classification which will have increased potency as well and this also has a plus variant which will have a 180% max brave overflow limit. Okay guys now let's move on to his esoteric region ability which will have one extra uses after this update. So. This will now also do a 4 hit Ice Melee Bray plus HP attack and the plus variant will be doing a 6 hit Ice Melee Bray plus HP attack. Now as for his HP attack plus, this will actually get a 120% max Brave overflow limit and his Brave attack plus plus will be getting a new effect which is going to be after breaking a target or attacking a broken target, this will turn classification to its plus variant. This will, however, change back after its use. Alright, so since we are starting getting these call abilities, which I actually didn't feature in my Should You Pull for Lightning's LDN BT, I think it's about time I actually cover them as well, seeing that they are going to be part of their kit regardless of them being in your party if you just decide to use them as a call ability. So for Camelot, he will basically increase his own max Raven attack and increasing his Brave based on his attack and then do a 4 hit Ice Melee Brave plus HP attack. Now the uh, Caller's Brave will increase by 30% of the HP damage dealt. This will also have a 180% max Brave Overflow limit and will have a 6 turns of call effect with, which actually inflicts all the targets with an attack and a magic attack down. Okay, now let's talk about his LD ability, which is Light Blade. This will have three uses and will do an eight hit melee brave plus HP attack and will have a 50% splash damage. This will remove the esoteric region buff and will grant six turns of desire of provenance. This will also grant a special icon called Peerless Hero for four turns. This will not consume any ability use after next turn. Now. Peerless Hero, when this is active, after every HP attack he has, he gets sort of like a refund. He will recover 30% of the Brave by the HP damage dealt. He will also have an increase of his, his attack by 20% and raising the party stolen Brave overflow by 20%. And at the start of each ally's turn, he will raise their Brave by 10% of their own max Brave. So kind of like a Brave Regent effect as well. Now at 1 out of 3 limit break, this will raise his attack by 30% in increasing the break damage dealt by Light Blade. Now while both Desire of Provenance and Peerless Hero is active, he will have access to the triple plus Brave attack that he has. Now this will do a 4 hit Ice Mela Brave attack, but when it breaking a target, it actually nullifies the action delay and will grant him a free turn. This will not increase the turn count, but it will still decrease the friend and summon action count. Now the gain effect of, he will also gain the effect of the Brave Attack plus plus regarding all those classification plus um, shenanigans. Now at 2 out of 3 limit break, this will raise his attack again by 30% in extending the Peerless Hero buff by 4 turns. And finally at 3 out of 3, this will once again raise his attack by 30% and will have one extra use of Light Blade. Alright guys, so after hearing all this information regarding Camelot's rework and of course his LD ability, what do I think of Camelot right now? Well, honestly speaking, 
When Camelot first arrived, it was a real head scratcher for me. I haven't seen a character that first released that had so much issues when it comes to his kit. I guess it's not issue, but complicated or complication with his entire kit. So you had to build up esoteric region buff to five stacks and then it will turn into desire of provenance. If you get broken, it will go away. So you have to build all that up. You do have his C65 passive that can increase that stack, but it was just a lot of hassle and the reward that you were be getting for it wasn't that great, especially with the fact that it disappears if you get broken. So you had to play him with other tanks and that way he won't get broken. But there's still a chance if there's the enemies doing all attacks that it still can happen. And honestly, he was not that great when he first came out. With his LD, I mean, this, it basically fixed all his issues. Well, the rework itself is okay because a lot of it is just increased potency, increased brave hits. Basically, he's trying to catch up with the current meta's um, damage output. His LD really fixed a lot of his issues. No longer you will have to keep stacking esoteric region all you have to do is use his ld ability and you are back in business to desire of provenance you also get a new special buff called peerless hero which we covered earlier this makes him you know more party viable than ever whereas before he relied a lot of his um party viability with his debuffs and his aura that can reduce the enemy's magic attack and attack this time around he has some free turns uh alongside with the ld ability now he also gets to give the entire party some brave region plus increase in stolen brave limit as well that is i think the biggest factor here but i think one of the greatest things that they added to this ld ability is his ability to refund or restore his braid by 30% of the HP damage dealt that he does every time he uses an HP attack. So this is just not by the LD. It is going to be after every HP attack, he will get a 30% refund or um, restore, restores 30% of his brave every time he uses an HP attack. So this is going to help him not get broken to a certain extent there is still the possibility that you can be so you know but in in saying that it's a very unlikely right so uh but i just have to say that there's still that possibility so i think for someone who was very lackluster previously when he first came out he was very complicated he he, he he wasn't beginner friendly or um, a new player friendly character to bring along. Um, he just needed this, a, you know, a worthy upgrade for someone who was very luck lackluster when he first released and probably will now be a little bit more new player friendly if they are a big fan of Camelot. Whereas before, it was he his kid is was or was very complicated and now it, there is they sort of simplified it to a certain extent so i do think he is now a much viable character to bring along uh, specifically for chaos and, and for lafinia i think it's fine he is uh, locked in pretty much to the ice element but you know you can definitely bring him on those occasions where you need the ice element um, if you don't have Kurosame in your team. I'm just gonna put that out. I think Kurosame is better as a character but you know if you do need extra ice attack users then yeah Camelot can certainly do that. He does have a higher chance to paralyze now as well which is great. I think 
he is a viable option now. Although not meta changing, you know, at least now he is viable, whereas before he wasn't. All right, guys, so we're finally at the end of this video. And one final question remains, should you pull? Now, I have praised Camelot by a lot. And that is with his LD ability, okay? You cannot use him without that. I, I just don't see that happening. It's very complicated and you are basically um, trying to fight someone with one arm tied behind your back. So you really do, do need his LD ability if you are going to be using him moving forward. So in saying that, should you really pull on this? He, first of all, um, he's not meta changing, right? And I don't mean that in a bad way. I don't mean that in a bad way at all. There's other characters that are not meta changing, but you know, they, they are pretty useful. And he's sort of in that category right now. He, he's, he's useful, but he's not meta changing. That's not the reason why I'm telling you not to pull on this banner because the main reason I don't feel like pulling on this banner is because the banner itself is actually pretty bad. The banner mates isn't that great. First of all, Shantoto, uh, she recently got her LD and burst weapon. Unfortunately, her LD weapon is not featured in this banner, which actually makes her really, really viable in terms of, you know, uh, doing uh, Lafinia's stages. And of course, you don't need her burst, but it would have been nice to have access to that too. But obviously, the burst that is featured in this banner is going to be Lightning's burst weapon. So that's number one. <laughs> you're stuck with a Shan. If you don't have Shantoto already, um, you're stuck with a Shantoto. You can only go to EX Plus, which isn't that great. She's okay, but she's not gonna be great. I really liked her LD ability to paralyze, and without that, it, again, you are basically fighting one arm tied behind your back. And then the other banner mate is Ridia which we just recently got, um, if I remember correctly. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I think we just got Radia not too long ago. And honestly speaking, she is kind of running behind everyone as well. So I, yeah, I just double checked. Rydia, we just recently got a Rydia in the banner, which was one of Kuja's um, burst banners, um, LD slash burst banner. So, yeah, it, it's just uh, there's really no no way I can convince someone to pull on this when recently we just got Rydia, and they might have gotten Rydia's kit there already, and she's only up to her EX plus as well. If you do need the, like an enchanter, she's still pretty solid. A pretty good character, strong damage dealer with the ability to enchant the water element. Um, you know, it's by no means these characters are like bad. It's just that there are just much, much better characters already. So the banner mates just makes me not want to actually tell anyone to pull on this. It's not Camelonaut's fault. By all means, it's not his fault. Like I said, with his LD, he's actually pretty decent. And I think he can be very viable in, like, you know, definitely viable in, Lef like, um, chaos stages. And with Lafinia, it's just gonna have... He, you're gonna have to work around with mechanics when it comes to Lafinia. That's just the reality of things. So, uh, that's that. It's just the banner mates aren't that great without um, Shantoto's LD. And then you're stuck with Rydia with just an EX plus as well. And like I said, she's she's okay if you need an enchanter. If you don't have an enchanter, then yeah, by all means, try and grab her. Uh, um, but I, I think the best thing to do here is actually just use tickets. If you're a big fan of Camelot, I won't tell you not to use your gems, but I would highly recommend just 
chasing for his LD using tickets and just save your gems for the next banners that are coming. Um, we have Reno coming up and then we have Sephiroth's LD burst banner coming up with the heretic quest. So there are much better characters really come moving forward. So yeah, it's so hard for me to say, you know, go ahead and pull because there's just way, way be better banners coming up. So anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Please do remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help the channel and I really do appreciate all the support that you guys have given me. And again, you know, uh, make sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter at Munchkins Gaming. Leave down in the comments below if you're a big fan of Camelot. How does this make you feel? Does it make you feel like Camelot is finally on uh, the same playing field as the rest of the other characters that have been viable since Chaos and now with Lavinia? Let me know down in the comments below. This is Munchkin slogging off. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next level.